using an automated pool order is a great way to scale in or out of a token with no trading fees or price impact. It is particularly efficient if you are using a large amount of tokens because you can enter or exit that token without directly impacting the price. To set up a pool order, head to the pool page to get started. Whilst you're on the pool page, you need to select the liquidity pool that has both of the tokens that you wish to exit and enter. In this example, I'll select the AVAX USDC liquidity pool. Once you're on the pool page, you need to then select the orders tab in the top left. On the orders tab, you can monitor your active limit orders. To set up a new pool order, you need to first establish which token you want to sell and buy. There are two options, and in this example, I'll be selling AVAX and buying USDC. Next, you need to actually enter the amount of tokens that you wish to sell. So I've entered 20 AVAX. The next step is to select your liquidity shape. I'll keep this on spot, which will give me a uniform distribution across the price range that I define. You can use curve or bid ask for more advanced ways to enter or exit a token. To learn more about liquidity shapes, you can click this hyperlink, learn more button, and this will give you full details into how to use each of these different shapes when you're providing liquidity. The last step you need to take is to define the actual range that you want to sell your tokens over. There's a couple of ways you can do that. Firstly, you can use the sliders. You can actually enter a price, or you can simply just enter the amount of bins. Once you've defined your range, simply press add limit orders. You'll need to confirm that in your wallet. And once confirmed, the pool order will now deposit your tokens into the liquidity book pool. Once that pool order is finally confirmed, you should be able to see the liquidity that you just added for your pool order in the UI. Once your pool order is set up and you can see that liquidity on the UI, you'll simply need to wait for the price of AVAX to enter into your defined range. As the price of AVAX lowers, what you'll see is these purple bins will start to turn green. Once each bin has turned green, that specific order in that specific bin will be completed. And a smart contract will withdraw that liquidity, which will now be USDC, and it will hold that liquidity waiting for you to claim it. You can see in the bottom left, a claimable funds section, your USDC will be held here waiting for you to claim it and you can claim your USDC at any time. If at any point you want to cancel any of your limit orders, either a place order or a pool order, you can simply go to the orders tab and then select cancel orders. And using the controls here, you can define the range or you can remove either AVAX or USDC, depending if you set up limit orders on both sides of the market. Once you've decided which orders you'd like to cancel, simply select cancel orders and you'll be able to claim your original funds back on that same page. And there you have it. That is the pool order feature on the Trader Joe decks.